Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you all so much for tuning back into our Town Hall 9 Let's Play here on the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel, your source of Clash of Clans content, tips, tricks, and of course, entertainment. By the way, if you like other games, then do be sure to check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media. The link is in the description. So guys, today on our Town Hall 9 Let's Play, we actually have a lovely, lovely queen upgrade once again. And it's 110,000 Dark Elixir, which to some... Tunnel 10s, 11s, and 12s, this may not seem like a lot, but it's actually a lot. It's a lot. Um, I had to really focus, dedicate my time, and get some boosts done, and I think it took two boosts to get to this point, plus a couple of days of just collecting Dark Elixir out of my drills, which are here. By the way, I saw some funny comments in a previous video saying, that's why I don't upgrade my drills, because people can steal more Dark Elixir. Really? It's free Dark Elixir, guys. You should upgrade your Dark Elixir drills. It's free. You just gotta think about logging in once a day. Or wait, how often? Once every... It fills up every 18 hours. Okay, so log in twice a day, morning and night, at least. Collect, and you're good to go. Done. Free Dark Elixir. There you go. So anyway, let's get some raids in, guys, and get this epic upgrade going. And the Golem upgrade in our lab that we just... That we um started in the last episode is still going. I believe it's got two days left. I probably should have checked. You know what? Let's check. Uh, do we, we get a base with loot? No, we didn't. All right, let's go ahead and back out. Let's check the laboratory. Yep, two days. A uh, day and a half. I always, I always uh, round them up because I'm literally not going to stay up until midnight and film, okay? That's just not when... I come alive. I'm actually most alive in the morning, so I'm a, I'm a morning person, so I generally film either late morning or early afternoon. But, uh, alright guys, so let me try to find a base with plenty of Dark Elixir. You know the drill, we've been using Goblin Knife for long enough now. Dark Elixir in easy spots to find on the outside. You know, ideally, both of the drills would be on the same side, and then the storage in the middle next to that town hall, and we can completely nuke it with some Goblin Knife. So I'll be right back once I find that perfect base. Okay, guys, dude, I've been searching for a long time, and it's like, there's no loot today. I don't know, some days are just weird, weirder than other days. But, I mean, this base has 3,000 Dark Elixir, which is my minimum. He does have a lot of gold and elixir, though, which is good, because, you know, we can upgrade some more walls. So, let's go ahead and attack this base, guys. Um, Also, one of the reasons why I chose this base is because the Dark Elixir drills and the storage are literally right there. All in one spot. And then if you jump into the town hall compartment, boom, that is all the Dark Elixir this base has to offer. Also, if you look at the clan castle, there's no loot in there because there's literally no coins or anything sitting around it. So we can literally just like dive straight through there and we'll be in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw it out a bunch of giants all at once. Good old four finger deployment here on my iPad. Uh, let's get a few goblins in like that. Drop our uh, wall breakers. And I'm actually going to save my hogs. I don't feel like I need them, but I'm going to put down my queen. All right, put down my queen. Let's go heal here and rage and now go goblins go everybody just get in there shall we yeah 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 it's a three-pronged attack this is more like a goblin trident it's not a goblin knife uh because uh, basically the way uh, the reason why it's called a goblin knife is actually because you're supposed to put down two fingers and two goblins are going two lines of goblins going straight into the middle right but if you use three then it becomes a, a three I don't know. It's it, like I said, trident, right? Uh, let's pop the queen's ability, and that will pretty much have to do it for us in this raid. Um, this queen's actually going to handle a little bit more loot, or a little bit more of the base out there, but then she's going to start taking some damage. I'm going to close out before she takes too much damage, so that we can use her in the next raid. But there we go. So that was 3,000 plus Dark Elixir. Again, my bare minimum for what I want to get whenever I do an attack. And if you'll notice, the queen is still alive, and I saved my CC troops. However, I did get an extra poison spell. I don't need that. All right, so there we go. Everybody's set up. Everybody's ready. Everybody's happy. Now, let's go do that again uh, with the other army that I have cooked up. We've got tons, tons of Dark Elixir out there in the world. We just got to find it. And you know, sometimes you can look in all the right places and not find what it is that you're looking for. So, let's just see. Oh! Oh, that's good! That's great! Look at that, guys. 6,000 Dark Elixir. I'm so glad that I held on to those hog riders. Even though I probably could have donated them to myself. I've got my phone right here. But no. Uh, we're, we're good. Alright, so check this out. Ooh, this one's actually kind of an anti goblin knife base. Because look at this. we got a drill on the right. A drill on the... Uh, well, the, the bottom right, the, a drill on the top right, and then a drill on the top left. They're all spread out really nicely, and then the storage is in the middle. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to dive in from this side, because this is closest to all of that. Um, and then we're going to use our queen to snag one of the drills, and maybe two of them. So let's go ahead and throw down our giants. 
throw down our archers and then start with some goblin funneling. All right, and then send those hogs in there too. There we go. So the wall breakers should. Oops, wall breakers died because of that giant bomb. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. All right, so they're all in there now. Um, let's send in the uh, the jump. Let's go heal, heal, and rage, and then goblin knife straight up into the gut. We gotta gut this base. All right, so goblins, get in there. Get that rage spell. Get that rage spell. Ooh, and ooh, no, 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 no. Get away from that. Get away from that wizard tower. Get away from the wizard tower. Okay, cool. We got it. We got it. We got the uh, dark elixir storage. But are we gonna be able to get that town hall? Come on, guys. Come on. Yes. Oh, we dropped that town hall so flipping fast. Oh, that was amazing. All right, so now, guys, we have the goblins still rocking and rolling. They took out the gold storage, but we don't have enough left to get both of those leftover Dark Elixir drills. This is that situation. It's like, dude, you're a Town Hall 9. You're attacking a Town Hall 10 with a strategy that's really not that powerful. Um, yeah, you're not expecting to get all of it. So let's go ahead and put the queen way up there, and she will start working on this drill. The best I could figure, both of those drills are maxed, max level, and they're completely full. So, take one. It's probably going to be a reasonable amount of loot. Actually, look at that. 3,416. Let's see how much Dark Elixir we get out of this drill, if you subtract, okay? So, let's pop that Queen's ability. She went from 3,416 to 1,800. So, just under 1,800 in that drill. That makes me think maybe this one actually had a little bit more. Not sure why that would be the case, but it seems like that was probably the case. Now, I went ahead and let the Queen die because I'm about to upgrade her anyway. So, it doesn't matter if she dies. So, uh, there we go, guys. 38%. We did get the Town Hall, though, and the storage, and two of the drills. So, that was a very healthy amount of dark elixir I and mean, that was what 4500 dark elixir beautiful guys and the hog riders they did a fantastic job they actually popped that giant bomb so that the uh the the, the what are they called the goblins that were going through there wouldn't get smacked by that giant bomb instead i'd much rather the hog the hogs get hit than all um, uh, how, how many, how many goblins do I have? I have, um, 88. Wow, 88. 88 miles per hour! If anybody recognizes that reference, please let me know in the comments. But, um, yeah, so 88 goblins to dive in there, smack the dark elixir, and steal it all, and then bring it home. Although, wait, how do the dark, how do the goblins bring it home if they die? I don't know. Uh, maybe they have an ender chest? <laughs> Yeah, all right, we're not we're not going to get into the Minecraft stuff on this channel. Anyway, so let's bounce into the progress base now, and let's just start getting some work done. Now, first off, I've got loads of gold and elixir and nowhere to put it, So, except for the walls, obviously. So let's do seven walls. Let me see right there. That should be seven. Oh, that's six. Wow, miscounted. First time in a while. Uh, so that's seven walls right there. Let's do this in three, two, one. Bam. There we go, and I'm just going to look at that this. Oh, I've got tons of loot in the treasury. Okay, so let's do a little bit more with... Actually, you know what? Let's spend all of our elixir right now, and then once we collect that out of the treasury, then that'll... I think that's seven. Or that's six. My bad. Dang, I miscounted twice. Oh, I'm off my game today. All right, let's do seven million elixir into walls. That's going to be 14 million loot spent altogether in this episode on walls so far. And I did a wall before, right before the filming, because I had too much gold. So we're technically... Technically... I've done 15 walls today. That's a lot of walls. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, bam. Nice. All right, so let's collect this. Let's uh, spend the rest of the gold, and then we're in good shape. Come on, wall. Yep. Stubborn? Stubborn, right? Stubborn. Get over there. We have nicknamed that wall Stubborn. All right, so uh, wall down, wall over, and I've got, uh, oh, actually, I've got just enough gold to do one wall. There we go. So that was 16 walls in one day. At that rate, dude, we're done with walls in like four episodes. Oh, glorious, glorious stuff. All right, so last but certainly, certainly not least, we have the queen upgrade. 110,000 dark elixir and uh, 24, level 24. So that's good. Actually, we have made it, if I can be completely transparent with you guys, I have made it further with the hero grind than I expected before the lab was going to be done. And that's great. I expected to finish off a 23-23 because that's just about where I see people generally cap out on the heroes before the lab is done. So we're not even close to done because the golem has one more upgrade. It's 80,000 Dark Elixir. Thank you so much for answering that question in the comments of a previous video. Golem will have 80,000 Dark Elixir. And since this one was five and a half days, I suspect the next one will be seven day. 
No one answered that part. Uh, so uh, we got seven days plus a day and a half. So it's eight and a half days plus this uh, earthquake spell. Five. So we get about 13. We got about two weeks. Okay. Two weeks until the lab is done. And then we're in that position where it's like, yo, it's all about heroes, nothing else. So that's good. That means that we actually have a chance to maybe get our heroes to 25, 25. That'd be great. Right? So let's upgrade the queen guys to level 24, 110,000 dark elixir, four day upgrade in three, two, one. Bam. What was that? That is called a slow count. Okay, that's all for suspense. So there we go. <laughs> we got the queen upgraded. That's amazing. Three epic Dark Elixir things going all at once. And unfortunately, the king wakes up tomorrow. So I'm not going to be able to like enjoy the um, the fact that both my heroes are upgrading for very long. But if I can, I'm going to get a couple boosts in tonight. And maybe we'll be able to put the king directly down again to level 25 tomorrow. If I can do that. If I can get the king going to level 25 tomorrow, then the day after, I can maybe have the 80,000 Dark Elixir, once again, doing a couple of boosts, and, um, and get the Golem going again. And then the Laboratory is settled, the King is going for a few days, and then the Queen will wake up, and maybe we'll be prepared for that by then. But basically, that's the grind. We're stair-stepping our way up and trying to max out these heroes. Uh, last but certainly not least, as we already talked about, the, uh, the walls were only 55 walls away. 55! It's not that many. There really isn't. We're close. Very, very close to a 100% maxed out base, and then it's all about those heroes. So good job, good job, guys. Excellent, excellent work. And, um, so so yeah, now that the queen is upgraded, which is definitely something to be celebrated. You may do it 30 times at Town 09, but at every single time, it is absolutely worth celebrating. But now that we've done that, it is now time for today's... I'm, I'm switching over to my, uh, to my app right now on my phone to do today's comment question of the day. And today's comment question of the day is not actually a question. It is a statement, and it's something that I completely agree with. It's from w Roman Warder, and actually a lot of people have said this, but this is the one that I'm reading. Basically, he says, please start live streaming. Yes, live streaming, live streaming. Something I mentioned in the previous episode or the previous episode before that previous episode. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but basically, yes, it is confirmed. This is confirmed that we will be doing live streams once the laboratory, the final earthquake spell laboratory upgrade is done. And I suspect that that'll probably be on a weekly basis. I don't think I'm going to do it more than once a week. I may do it twice a week. I'll let you guys know. There will be a schedule posted or maybe not. I mean, that's part of the whole, the, the, the life of the YouTuber is that A, it's not entirely predictable and B, I don't like schedules. That's just me. So maybe I'll just kind of stream whenever I want to. But yes, it is confirmed. Thank you, Roman, for the, it wasn't a question. It was more like a, it was more like a request, but yes. We're going to be live streaming the last of our Town Hall 9 Dark Elixir grind. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're not quite there yet. We still have a couple of upgrades, like key upgrades to do. Once again, to finish up the laboratory. And then it is all about getting these heroes done and the 55 remaining walls. So that's going to be happening. Be looking forward to that. And again, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that idea. If you hate the idea of me live streaming, that's fine. Let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm open to constructive criticism i'm open to suggestions i am here for you that's what i do and that's about it guys thank you all so much for tuning in if you want me to answer one of your questions in the future please post it down below in the comments also like the video if you liked it it helps with the youtube algorithm hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming or clash of clans videos and to join the class family and last but definitely not least guys hit the gears at the bottom right hand side of the screen hit more settings also at the bottom right hand side of your screen scroll all the way to the bottom and make sure that you are supporting a content creator under the creator boost if you want to support me support by using the code klaus and remember it get it disappears every seven days so if you've done it before that doesn't mean it's still working so guys that's all for me remember that i love each and every one of you and i will see you all again next time